one of the quick win use cases for 5G is media and entertainment. And I'm not saying that just because of BT Sport, uh, but we do absolutely think that virtual reality, augmented reality, and finding new ways of getting content to customers is a great opportunity. I'm not sure there is, is any single quick win use case uh, with, with 5G. For sure, also the media and, and, and the entertainment industry uh, would be able to benefit from, from what we are doing uh, for, for 5G and, and then building the networks for 5G. But uh, I don't think that we have seen it as the uh, the, the use case uh, as of today. Broadcasters are in innovators, um, very creative people. So already if you look at what's coming up in the World Cup, what's happening in the Olympic Games, people are using 5G cameras on bobsleighs, it's innovation. It gets really good high quality content back quickly and they're using it. On the flip side of that, a 5G network, especially because of the, the very low latency, it allows people to be in have immersive content, different kinds of things, we're not fixed to a spot. So creative people, they just see the opportunity in that, in, in that straight away. The media industry and the entertainment industry is needed uh, in complementing of the mobile broadband uh, combination and offering that operators are doing today. Uh, then again, if we look more towards the industries and the enhanced video services uh, and, and, and uh, services that can be done towards industries, that is really, really a large sector and represents a very high business opportunity. Cloud gaming was traditionally a service deployed to the home via fiber. You know, by embracing 5G and positioning that, that instance, that cloud gaming instance on the edge of the network, means that they can offer that uh, more localized, personalized service around cloud gaming. You know, that's, that's, it's a super opportunity for the industry. It's no longer just about who's got the latest 5G, 4G network or the best coverage because at some point that becomes a ubiquitous thing. Content is one of those things that is truly a differentiator. Whether that's content coming from a partner uh, like a Netflix or a traditional broadcaster, maybe it's in the future content also coming that's collaborated between the two industries.